Double S, a double up. I'm freaking on. What's up, guys? Hey, how's it going? All right, tackle boys. We made it to our secret hole here. Uh, we were here once before and struck out, but we've had an awesome warm snap. It was 70 degrees yesterday. It's like 70 or 73 today the sun's been out and uh, we've seen some pictures of other people catching smallmouth within the last week uh, here's what we're using today it's just a Vic Coomer silver fleck curly tail shad the 1 8 ounce jig head we're just gonna slow roll it on the bottom and hopefully we can get fish to bite let's do this guys go. You guys want to see Zach's new rig so guys I went over yesterday I got a uh, new pull, a 6'6 Silver Hawk. It's a medium fast action. I also got a Daiwa. This is brand new, uh, just came out. It's 10 bearing system. It's got a 5'6 gear rate ratio. And the retrieve rate's uh, 33 inches a reel, which I really like for uh, hooking into fish. When you need to come, when the fish are coming at you, you need to retrieve the line a lot faster. So I always go for the higher gear ratio. But anyways, it's a great reel. It's a 2500. It's the RG. It's a replacement for the Revros, which I'm a big fan of. So I'm excited to try it out. We'll let you know how it fishes. This is my first cast with this pole. First cast of the day. I think I'm on, dude. Ah. You guys haven't noticed, Zach's been fishing with a 4,000 size reel and a seven foot medium heavy rod. Every time we've gone out recently, when we were in Florida, Zach jacked up his reel and has been using my saltwater setup for the last month. So the fact that he's got a new rod is pretty sweet and much needed. We're at the honey hole. Caught many fish out of here before. I had to retie. Got on the gold curly tail shad. Looks pretty great in the water. We haven't had a. We've had some maybe hits. We haven't had a fish yet. We're gonna walk up this hole. Follow it all the way up to the second hole, right by these rocks. Is that you? I'm freaking on. Smalley. Smalley. <laughs> oh, he's peeing on me. Guys, look at that. First Smalley of the year. <laughs> Maybe a pound, three quarters of a pound. Beautiful little fish. This goose just hissed at me. I thought it was a freaking snake. <laughs> Freaked me out. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you alone, Mama. It's okay. Not gonna bother you. Check out this beaver stick. That is cool. This is a good one. Beaver log. This is a good one, man. I'm on, I'm on. Get it on. Get I'm, it on. I'm already, I'm filming, baby. Smalley. Can we double that? Dude, Woo! Nice job, dude. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> I don't know, that's like maybe a 12-incher. Yeah, that's a nice one. 12-incher. Just get a like a nice macro shot. So we just talked to Uncle Tim. 
He told us that they're hitting like crazy on Rapalas. He pulled out like 10 or something like that. His biggest one was 2.5 pounds. So Gus and I are gonna copy them. I got a big Rapala. Gus got a smaller Rapala. We're hopefully gonna catch some lunkers. Oh, Gus, Gus got hit. Yeah. Gus got hit, that was top water. Yeah. yeah, he just got hit top water. Dude, I may switch to top water. Dude, that was awesome. I don't know if you guys saw that or if I got it, guys, but Gus just got whomped. <laughs> there we go, baby. Tim did this right. See if I can double up. See if Gus can double up on that. There we go, boys and girls. We got ourselves a nice little smallmouth here on this jointed Rapala. Oops. Gus is on. Double, double, up. Up. Double, up. double up. Double up. Double up. It's a double up. Live action. Double up. Double up. Dude, yes. Dude. Double ups to double up, Gussy. Good job, man. So we switched it up to Rapala's, and now we're on fire. A double up, first double up of the year. Here we go. Here's Gus. Our pretty, pretty boys and girls. Look at that, dude. You guys see this? Double up, boys. Double up, boys. Double up, boys. <laughs> Sick. Check Let's get it the double out. Release. All right, guys. Hopefully, everyone can see this. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. We made it out, guys. What's, What's up, up tackle, tackle boys? boys? How's it going, guys? We had a great day. We had a lot of fun. Gus caught the first smallmouth of the day. We ended up with four. We caught two on Vic Coomer's uh, Gold Flake. And then we caught two on Rapalas because Uncle Tim gave us all the details. He That's went right. fishing the Licking River and owned it. He beat the crap out of us. So <laughs> next time, hopefully Uncle Tim will come with us. He's a true OG tackle boy. He's the tackle man. He's a tackle man. The first small mouth of the year for us. Our goal now is to get back out as fast as we can, try and get some more. We've got smally fever. We can already feel it. So <laughs> I think uh, top water blow ups are probably in our future. Yeah, we're excited. We love you guys. Love you guys.